G'day and welcome to the newsletter for September. Um, of course, we've got to start up front with Access China. Um, we've got over 200 people, things closed, um, bookings closed today. Um, so we're really excited to get over 200. And great news this week that we've got Minister Lynham um, on board. Um, he's going to spend a few days with us and he's really quite engaging as a Minister for State Development. Um, he'll be there to talk to anyone and everyone um, about matters that might be affecting your business. Uh, if you've got any questions on Access China, please make sure you give us a bell for those who are attending. Um, keen to make sure that we maximise it for you. It's a significant investment for your business, um, so we want to make sure that you get the most out of it. Um, this week, ARTC, um, okay, we hosted um, the executive, the CEO and managing director of ARTC, John Fullerton, was in town along with his executive team. Uh, we got all of the local politicians on board. If you're ever interested in reading the business case um, for 2012, there you go, um, if you've got having trouble sleeping at night. Um, but of importance, they really got the message that um, communication probably hadn't been as done as well as they might have liked um, in the past, and they're really committed to doing it um, better in the future. You'll see some media in the next week or so from ARTC about the progress from here to December um, and thereafter how we get this, this thing built. Uh, so that's a really positive outcome, I think, for the region, and I was really impressed with the meeting and how upfront they were with us. Uh, the last couple of weeks I've travelled out west um, through the Strat Basin region, met with Santos, met with a number of the local councils, just getting a picture of the state of the economy. There's no doubt things have slowed down, of course, you don't have to be um, a rocket scientist to work that out. But Santos have announced um, some Roma fields and some Scotia fields coming up. Of course, we've got Project Charlie with QGC, Origin are doing some more. So, of course, it's not dead and we know that. Um, we would really love to see New Ackland um, get up in the not-too-distant future. Um, and let's, that, let's hope that gets off the ground. But a big push at the moment, of course, is renewables. Uh, and we are going to be the, the hub of the renewables uh, for Queensland, which is pretty exciting. Um, in the ag space, we've hosted a few Chinese delegations. Interestingly, we're starting to see a bit of investment now come on the back of those delegations. We've got an example of one company signing a confidentiality agreement for investment in a manufacturing facility. Uh, so they really are. The work we've done with China for so long is penetrating. Um, it is working and um, we are seeing better links um, there. And of course, it is a question of when, not if, we're going to have direct trade flights to China, freight flights to China. Um, let's hope it's, it's sooner rather than later. Um, just a couple of quick plugs before I finish off. Um, our enterprise evening this month um, is a meet the board session. Um, we really wanted our board to understand what the issues are for you and your business, um, how you think TSBE is going, what we might be able to do better. So it's really quite an informal get together. We're going to try and get a few of the Access China delegates together um, just to have a chat about what's, what they expect um, on the 23rd to 27th of October. Next couple of months, just to allow you to plan, um, in November we're going to have a session completely devoted to renewables. Um, what are the renewable projects being spoken of the region? Why is our region so important in the renewable space? Um, so that's going to be a cracker, don't miss that one. And finally in December we've locked in Nexus um, to have a chat about project updates. Um, interestingly, to date they've only spent about 15% of their total project spend, so there is a significant amount of work yet to come, and they'll give us an update of where they're at, how they're going with employing local content, and, and so be it. Uh, have a great month. Um, if you're on the China trip, I look forward to catching up with you in Shanghai um, on the 23rd of October. It's going to be great exposure for the region. Um, have a great month, and hopefully we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks.